Hello comrades. Today is May 19th, 1971. I'm being launched on a Proton K heavy launch vehicle from Baikonur Cosmodrome. I wish I could tell you more about how I was built and designed, but glorious motherland has many secrets, and for good reason, comrade. I can tell you that my launch vehicle is identical to the Venera probes. First vehicles to land on Venus, and it's all thanks to glorious Soviet Union. And now, after many years of work and study, I will make history too. I will be the first vehicle to land on the red planet of Mars. Now I am above our beautiful Earth, in a parking orbit. In a few moments, my Block D upper stage booster will send me on an intercept with the Red Planet. Would you like to know what I'm bringing with me? Well, aside from the orbiter craft itself, there is an entire landing system mounted behind my propulsion units. The cone shape at the end is my heat shield, which will keep me from burning up as I enter the thin atmosphere of Mars. Because the air there is so thin, I've got retro rockets along with parachutes to keep me safe on the way to the ground. Once I touch down, I can unfold and get a look around. Two television cameras, 360 degree view, will record what I can see and send it back to Earth. A mass spectrometer will study the composition of the Mars atmosphere, plus I have a handful of gadgets to study the wind and temperature and, you know, things like that. Last but certainly not least, I have something that will be able to leave the lander and walk on the surface of another planet. The Prop M rover. His little metal box on skis, with two devices to test the optical density and the physical strength of objects on the surface. I have high hopes for that little guy. I wonder how far away from my lander he'll manage to get. Hang on. I see signal on its way to me from command. Time to send me to the red planet. There it is everyone. I'm awake for the first time in a while, because we've arrived in a stable orbit around Mars. Have a look. Another planet seen through the eyes of man-made equipment. It's remarkable, isn't it? I've spent 460 days floating through the darkness to get here, and I hope everything has stayed intact. I sort of forgot that while space is a vacuum, it's far from empty. Micrometeoroids are, and will likely always be, the biggest risk to human space exploration. Even a fleck of paint traveling at orbital velocity can tear a satellite to shreds. This far out, I haven't had to worry too much about that. What I did have to worry about is that right there. The sun. Cosmic rays and ionizing radiation can do a lot of damage to a spacecraft. I've been built with shielding with that radiation in mind, but I worry that not everything is functioning quite as it would appear to be. We will see soon. I am approaching the separation point. We are away from the orbiter. Speed is 6 km a second, altitude 1380 km and dropping. Descent sequence online. Angle of descent is a few degrees steeper than expected. Shouldn't be a problem. Waiting to hit the Martian atmosphere. Altitude 100 km. I've hit the ionosphere at this point. Mountains beneath me have been up to 22 km high. Atomic hydrogen and oxygen detected in the upper atmosphere. Trace amounts of water vapor, about 5,000 times less than back home. Everything is going swimmingly so far. Time to deploy the parachutes.
well, that's not good. I think my angle of descent is too steep. The parachutes didn't deploy. At this point, it's too late. Once the control room back home realizes the landing system has failed, I will be a crater on the surface. I am over 200 million kilometers from home. Communication takes 40 minutes to go from me to the Earth and back again on a good day. This is it. I failed. Fear not, my friends. My sister, Mars 3, was already launched some time ago. She's right on my heels, and I will be the example that she will learn from. Come in more shallow, and pray that your parachutes work. I'm picking up speed now. The surface is getting close. I guess I'm still going to be the first object to land on Mars. I'm just going to land a little harder than I wanted to. I don't know if anyone will hear these last words of mine. From here I can tell that the surface temperature is likely to be somewhere below 20 degrees Celsius on a warm equatorial day like it is now. Surface pressure is 0.088 psi, less than 1% of what's on Earth. I've been feeling the grain from dust storms since I was at 7 kilometers. This is it! Das Vidanya, comrades! My crash site is estimated to be 45 degrees south and 313 degrees north. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. If you want to support me further, consider becoming a member or a patron or checking out my merch or my Amazon links. Thank you, and I will see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. In a fast cosmic arena. self-importance, the delusion that we have some